Alright, so uh, this took a few minutes, but now I have pu successfully published this data and map to my ArcGIS Online account. So we can see this success message down here. Uh, note if we click on this manage the web map um, option, that'll, that'll load your ArcGIS Online account and, it's, and you can view the, view the data. Um, instead, I'm just going to go to the web page, uh, which I already have loaded. So this is my uh, web page. Uh, note that it's not showing up yet, and that's because sometimes you need to refresh the page if you actually want to see the data. So I'm going to do a refresh. And then go to my Monforce folder here. And there's the data. So I have this service definition file, the map object, and then all the data layers. So let's just explore this for a second. So uh, if we want to view the layers, if we go to this object, we can see that this is a hosted feature layer, which basically means it's raw vector data that's being stored or hosted on ArcGIS Online. And then within this hosted feature layer, we have all of our sublayers that came in. Um, each one has a service URL where you could uh, connect to it. Um, you can export it out. You can view metadata if it's created, um, disable, enable attachments, um, set up time settings if you have that available, uh, that available information. Um, this whole object has a URL that you can link to for like a web page or a web map, and that's listed down here in this service URL. Okay, so that looks fine. So let's go back to the folder. Um, I'm going to open up this Monforest map now, and that should load in my map viewer. Okay, so we'll go open a map viewer, and we should be able to see all of our data loaded in now. Okay, so note that it came in basically the way I had it, had it set up before. So I have um, the layers that were turned on when I published it are turned on, the layers that are off are off. Um, let's go through and check our layers and make sure nothing looks weird. So here we have our proclamation boundary, that looks good. If I click in it, nothing's happening. Again, it seems like it honored our, our pop-ups. Now if I go Let's look at the management layer. So it looks like it took my symbology. If I click on it, it just has the name. That's what I wanted. Turn that off. So again, I'm just spot checking my layers to make sure they make sense. There we go. So acreage, whatnot. Wilderness areas, looks good. All right, let's turn those off. Roads came in, they look good. Trails, so the trails look a little odd. Uh, it seems like it didn't really take the symbology that I um, suggest that I had set up. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes it's the symbols aren't available in ArcGIS Online. So if I wanted to edit that, I can go in here to this. Um, we can just use show location only because we're not really mapping an attribute. And um, then we can do options, symbol, and then we can go in here and change the symbol. So I'm just going to use like a red line. Um, we can change the width, the pattern. Um, I'm just going to increase the width a bit. Oops. I did the wrong layer. <laughs> All right, so let's fix that. I screwed that up. Um, so I'm going to go in here, switch this back to a different color. Um, I'm going to step this back down to one. Yeah. And then, OK, that should give us back that symbology. I think that's good. And then the trails. Again, that's what I actually wanted to edit before. So again, we'll go here, change the symbol. Maybe again, I was make it like a red, and I'm gonna change the size a bit. I think that works. Okay, done. All right, so that should do the symbology. Uh, note that you can do some additional editing to the layers. Uh, first off, like for the the acreages. Um, for example, under uh, ownership, 
might be nice to have our, our separators in there, our comma separators. So I'm going to go to this more options and then configure pop up and this will allow us to do additional configurations. Um, if I go to configure attributes and we click on area we can use um, we can we I guess oh, that's right acres we can set this up so that it has uh, comma separators and here it's showing two decimal places I'm just gonna change it to zero because I think round off to the nearest acre is fine okay so let's see if it took that so now we have our comma separator there um, so in short you can do some additional editing on your on your symbology and your pop-ups um, and here you can even go in and you know disable the pop-up or whatnot you can add layers um, just a few other options associated with layers uh, this refresh interval that has to do with how often the layer is refreshed for example if it's set up for editing and, and people are actually editing into it um, we don't really need that for any of these layers because they're not being um, being edited um, you can also make copies change the name of the layer um, that can be useful if you want it to look nicer like in a legend um, so um, what I'm gonna do here for the next few minutes is go through and clean some stuff up um, get everything the way that I want and then I'll come back in and we'll uh, talk about adding some additional layers um, to the map. All right, so I will, so I will see you in the next video.